After exploring some of the south in Kartaya and Timimun, I'm now back in Algiers, the capital, and I'm just about to take a day trip to the beautiful mountains of Sharia. Good morning, everybody. Today I am on a day trip all the way to Shreya, which is the national park just behind Blida, up into the beautiful mountains. So peaceful. I wanted to take, <laughs> you can see how remote we are and hear how remote we are just by the, the chickens and the roosters and the complete silence. My plan was actually to leave Algiers, take a taxi to the Teleferic and take the Teleferic all the way to the top of the mountain but actually I arrived and they're closed so I'm taking the taxi all the way up. <laughs> I'm taking a taxi all the way to the top. Alhamdulillah I can still take a taxi but yeah the Teleferic apparently is closed for five months over winter. So just a word of warning if you're coming here over the winter months from I think it's December, January, February, March, April the teleferic is closed. But this is where we're heading to, all the way to the top of the valley, all the way to the top of the mountain. The roads are super windy. The visibility up here is too small. We can barely see in front of us. Whoa. whoa, 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 it is so cold. This scarf I take from um, Karadaya. It's so cold, we're in the clouds. I'm not sure how much I'm gonna be able to see. I mean, probably not that much, but actually it's home to some really beautiful hiking paths. It's also home to a very special monkey species, which I doubt I'll see because it's so cloudy. <laughs> that right there, what you see is the clouds. <laughs> I'm so high up, over 1500 meters above sea level. This is crazy. The visibility is so bad. I picked the bad day to come, I think. Usually you can see for a lot further than this, <laughs> but this is the center. I think I need to find somewhere. <sighs> I cannot feel my heart. <laughs> Whoa. Oof, yeah. I think I need to find somewhere warm to stay. I take a coffee and I can't try and perhaps wait for the visibility. Even the dogs are running away because it's so cold. Maybe perhaps the sun will clear the area a little bit, inshallah. Yeah, I need to go inside. I cannot feel my hands. So this area seems to be a little bit more protected from the wind. What you'll find up here is a lot of families coming here hiking, spending the weekends and, you know, relaxing from the main cities. There's still a lot of cloud cover here, but I think perhaps inshallah I can see something. <laughs> Not too much. When we drove past this a second ago, you can see see some of the valley. Usually, this right here would be an incredible viewpoint. But sadly, there's nothing here. So, Shreya National Park is it's actually one of the smaller national parks here in Algeria. But what you can find here is a lot of uh, tree species, plant species, and also the uh, Barbary macaque, which is a, like a short-tailed monkey. And apparently, it's very, very common here. Haven't seen any just yet. And it's actually because uh, a lot of this national park is under disuse. So it means the monkeys could return here without having the fear of humans. In a few months, I think probably ne next month, this entire area will be covered in snow. I am sadly just a little bit short of um, time to be staying here until then. Inshallah, I can come back. I'm gonna go inside, get something warm to warm me up. And then inshallah, maybe in 30 minutes, the view might clear. If you're coming here, just be super prepared, especially at this time of year, it is so cold. My hands are bright pink. I managed to find somewhere for food. I got 
uh, escalog de poulet, uh, like a chicken sandwich. It's the only warm thing available. <laughs> mm. The weather today is so volatile, but for me, I take that as a benefit because just after I finished my sandwich, the entire valley is now in view. Take a look at this. Wow, 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 the difference 10 minutes makes when you're this high into the mountains and it's a day like today. I think the cloud will cover me again very shortly, but the sun, alhamdulillah, has come back out. Oh, I think it just warmed my body by about five degrees. <laughs> SubhanAllah, look at these views. The rolling green mountains go on for miles and miles and miles and just imagine in one month all of this all of these trees will be covered in beautiful snow wow i can see why this place is so famous with locals i have actually never seen tourists come here though especially tourists from the uk us europe i've never seen Anybody come here? So, if you are coming to Algeria, then this has to be on your list to visit. It's just stunning. Hey, baby. So cold, isn't it, huh? Hi! Mountain dogs, huh? You're so cute, you must be freezing. This guy doesn't want us to leave. This, this is our taxi. Maybe he's hungry, I guess he might be. When people continuously say they think Algeria is just sand and a desert, this is what you can show them. The just phenomenal rolling green mountains. Wow, honestly, even I did not know that Algeria was this green and lush and beautiful and rich in this kind of landscape. I honestly feel like I could be in the middle of Southeast Asia. <laughs> I'm so close to crying because it's just so quiet and just stunning. Oh my God. <laughs> Thank you. 
also have a tram which goes around the city. Marhaban Bikon Fi Wahran. Wahran is home to Rai music. What is Rai music? This view extends so far out into the Mediterranean Sea, unobstructed view. And if you I'm so mind blown by the beauty of Algeria.